Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through Osgood Schlatter's disease. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash Osgood Schlatter's or in the orthopedic surgery section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Osgood Schlatter disease is caused by inflammation at the tibial tuberosity where the patella ligament or the patella tendon inserts. It's a common cause of anterior knee pain in adolescence. Osgood Schlatter disease typically occurs in patients aged 10 to 15 years old and is more common in males. Osgood Schlatter disease is usually unilateral, affecting only one knee, but it can be bilateral. Let's talk about the pathophysiology. The patella ligament or the patella tendon inserts into the tibial tuberosity. This is a small lump that you can feel just below the kneecap at the top of the lower leg. In patients with Osgood Schlatter disease, multiple minor avulsion fractures occur where the patella ligament pulls away tiny pieces of the bone. This leads to growth of the tibial tuberosity, causing a visible lump below the knee. Initially, this lump is tender due to active inflammation in the area. As the bone heals and the inflammation settles, the lump becomes hard and non-tender. A hard, non-tender lump is then permanently present at the tibial tuberosity. Let's talk about the presentation. Osgood Schlatter disease presents with a gradual onset of symptoms. And these symptoms are a visible or palpable hard and tender lump at the tibial tuberosity pain in the anterior aspect of the knee and the pain is exacerbated by physical activity, kneeling and on extension of the knee. Let's talk about management. The initial management focuses on reducing pain and inflammation, including reduction in physical activity, ice and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs such as ibuprofen to help with symptoms. Once the symptoms settle, stretching and physiotherapy can be used to strengthen the joint and improve function. Finally, let's talk about the prognosis. Symptoms will fully resolve with time, however the patient will be left with a hard bony lump on their knee. A rare complication is a complete avulsion fracture where the tibial tuberosity is separated from the rest of the tibia and this requires surgical intervention. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.